हेलो हेलो हे आशुतोष नाइस टू सी यू अगेन आफ्टर सच अ लॉन्ग टाइम हाउ हैव यू बीन या गुड इवनिंग मैम इट्स बीन ग्रेट थैंक यू सो मच फॉर आस्किंग हाउ अबाउट यू हाउ इज योर डे गोइंग सो फार एंड सो फार इट्स बीन अमेजिंग वन ऑफ द बेस्ट डेज ऑफ द वीक फॉर मी यू टेल मी व्हाट व्हाट आर यू अप टू दिस डे ओके टुडे इज फ्राइडे सो वेटिंग फॉर द वीकेंड you got it <laughs> absolutely right okay that's great for me also it's a uh, really nice of course i'm enjoying my days nowadays as it is not freezing cold here mm-hmm. coming mm-hmm. back to the normal so i'm able to do a lot of sessions and i'm enjoying it so good so how many sessions do you take per day or per week per day like sometimes 2 3 it depends on my mood and time Okay my goodness you have quite a high level of dedication if you take three sessions a day it's almost one and a half hours so do you enjoy speaking in english for that duration yes of course i can uh, speak english for 2 hours 3 hours and 4 hours as well so as mm-hmm. i used to do that in covid 19 so i used to speak to the people for 4 to 5 hours but nowadays i don't do it that much mm-hmm. but at least 2 hours 3 hours fine for me mm-hmm. but like you take a lot of sessions so you have to do also the same right isn't it yes yes i do uh, but i don't know because maybe i like this job so much it doesn't feel like work so you have the energy so that's why i asked you do you enjoy it when you enjoy what you do you don't get exhausted that's yeah same for me i enjoy talking to the people it can be hour to hour say hour doesn't mm-hmm. matter so good and i can see uh, there's a slight change in your accent it sounds more polished very refined good job great going oh, <laughs> thank you have you been so, taking yes. any kind mm-hmm. of accent training classes not at all like you know no training nothing i con- consume the content on youtube so i try to watch the content from all sort of like you know things and backgrounds so mm-hmm. that's how it is i i don't really think so there is any change in it but maybe you can feel it so. yes it's a positive change it's a positive change okay all right so you were about to ask something yeah go for it yeah i i wanted to say to you that uh, I, today i want to have a session about the pronunciations if you have some words i would love to pronounce them basically i make a lot of mistakes with the s and sh v mm-hmm. and w the common mistakes in g and z so if you have some words i would love to like pronounce them or the tips and tricks you have the pronunciation i would love to go for that learning pronunciation to be very honest it's uh, a piece of cake if you <laughs> practice really well because these days we are blessed with so many tools online so you don't really have to depend on another person to teach you pronunciation you can just go on google type the word and you can hear it first hand right so it's that mm-hmm. accessible for all of us today and the key to pronouncing words properly is to break down a word into simpler sounds that's very mm-hmm. important okay now let's say there's a really long word and if you try to pronounce it in one go maybe you'll get it wrong but if you try to split it into smaller portions and try to uh, perfect the smaller pronunciations first then together you will be able to uh, speak the word properly yeah that's the trick got it okay uh-huh. yeah so now uh, since it's pronunciation all right i have a couple of words for you uh, you have mm-hmm. access to the chat don't you let me send you a yeah. hi and you get it to see if you can access it did you get do you receive my hi don't the go to the speak. chat box go to the chat box not the chat bot mm. hello hello yeah i'm like sorry you... yeah now i got it yes i'm able to see that hi you're able to see it now yeah okay. all right all right great uh, so what i'll be doing uh i'll be sharing the words there and you will try to pronounce it okay yeah sure the first word for you is coming to your chat box in 3 2 1 yes yeah executive no no executive 
no no <laughs> sorry what's that eggs uh what did i say when you I'm get a big i'm not able to pronounce it yeah we will mm-hmm. simplify sorry okay. i we will simplify okay it. it's quite yeah, a lengthy sure. word, right mm-hmm. so we will split it what is ex how do you pronounce ex x x q u i is pronounced as qui can you say it qui. yeah qui hmm. so now what do you have x qui say it together x qui yeah and in this context s i t is pronounced as sit exquisite exquisite very good very good so this word has three syllables x qui zit mm-hmm. easy yes yeah great exquisite, exquisite. yes exquisite means something very exotic right something very mm-hmm. beautiful very unique that's exquisite okay got it all right ready yeah. for the second one yeah exactly hmm. here you go yeah that is m a c a b r e right yes macabre is it good right attempt. good attempt it's pronounced as macabre macabre that's macabre. how it's macabre okay yes. macabre yes the so C-A- how many syllables are there two it depend like macabre macabre so you split it into three macabre. independent sounds right so that's how mm-hmm. it is okay all right so now uh, what is the meaning of macabre uh, if i say that uh, movies these days are quite macabre uh, there's a lot of blood shed a uh, blood shed shown in them so what do you think it mm. means is it violent or is it peaceful violent for sure violent for sure very good macabre means something that's extremely brutal extremely violent okay okay macabre third, yes this word is something that every man should know all right here you go it's c h i v a l r o u s yeah chivalrous it's it's c h i here is pronounced as she chivalrous it's not she. val it's vul like mm-hmm. constrict your mouth she vul rus chivalrous she vul rus yes not rush rus rus okay chivalrous yes so now when you pronounce it it would be chivalrous chivalrous yes chivalrous, chivalrous. yeah she is one syllable vul is the second syllable rus is the third syllable chivalrous okay okay got it all right mm-hmm. what's the meaning of chivalrous like uh, men should be chivalrous they should treat women around them with respect so what do you think chivalrous means mm, just uh, the human being should be like what the mm-hmm. word means respectable or hmm. i don't know what is the word a, like for the morality courtesy they should have courtesy courtesy right? ha uh-huh. ha yes they should yeah. behave in a very honorable way with women right so that's the meaning of chivalrous so men need to be chivalrous got it yeah okay now um these days uh, the traffic problem in my city it's at the peak so do you also face the same problem in your city or are you lucky here basically i don't go out but of course traffic is there right so whenever this traffic um honking and all kinds of noise that's a that's an added bonus right it's it's inevitable <laughs> yeah of course it's disturbing so that's why i don't prefer going out it's a big problem for me i'm not able to adjust uh, there in the like traffic oh my mm-hmm. god so most of the time i'm sit in the room and i do the work only i have to go out for the food lunch and dinner and yeah. apart from this really i go out okay okay makes sense So now let's learn an amazing synonym for the word too much noise and that too variety of different noises. So shall we learn that? Mm-hmm. Yeah, for sure. Why not? Here you go. Yeah, that is cacophony. 
Is it cacophony? Yeah, it looks like I don't know, like what's the like an you know, pronunciation? I'll split it for you. Uh -huh. The first syllable is k, right? I'm putting it in the chat. K. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. The second syllable is ko, k ko, right? Mm -hmm. It's not phony. How do you pronounce f o h? It's f, f. Oh. K k f. Yeah, and last one is me. That's simple. So it's cacophony. Cacophony. Oh my God. Right. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> so this is how you split the words in the syllables and learn pronunciation. Getting a hang okay. of it? Yeah. Sure. Okay, cool. So now what are the words that we learned? Let's do a quick revision before we move on. What's the first <laughs> word? Uh, pronounce it. Excuse it. Mm -hmm. Very good. Second one. Macabre. Beautiful. Third. Chivalrous. Perfect. Fourth one. Cacophony. Yes, yes, you're absolutely right. So, uh, Ashutosh, you must have definitely met a lot of people who try to, in Indian terms, if we say they try to butter up their boss, their manager. In India, we call it buttering. Yeah. <laughs> yes, right. So, what do you call these kind of people in Hindi? <laughs> it's the name of a cutlery. We call them with the name of a cutlery. What do we call them? In Hindi? Ha. Huh. Someone who butters up their boss a lot, always says yes to everything, always moving around <laughs> people of authority. I don't know. I don't have an exact word for it. We have a lot of regional things, and that or no. that are, those no. are not good to say here. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> Simple, you know. We say no chamcha hai boss ka. Yes, so, yes, you know, yes. Chamcha giri and this kind chamcha of. Chamcha giri, exactly. So mm -hmm. that has a word in English as well, and this is the word. Now that is psychophant. Can you spell it out? S Y C O P H A N T. Okay, it's sycophant. Okay, let me let me make you hear sycophant. it. Let me know. If you mm -hmm. Yes, sycophant. Did you hear it? Yeah, sycophant. Fant, sycophant. Your fant is like elephant, right? Exactly. It's F A N T. So S I C. Okay, K U H K C K F A N T, fant. sycophant. Sycophant. Got it? So, this Those is Those people are sycophant, right? Yes, yes. You are really good in buttering. Buttering, absolutely. So, I think the word buttering, it's, uh, it's quite funny. It makes me laugh all the time. So, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all right. So, this is about it. Yeah. So, do you know anyone like that? You don't have to name them, just you can say yes or no. Yeah, many people are there, of course. And when you go to school, you can see a lot of teachers. When you go to mm -hmm. office, you can see a lot of colleagues of yours and a lot of mm -hmm. students. Why not? Perfect. Yes. But yeah, and genuine, what I will say, some are genuine, but some are extra, like, you know, doing it. Means buttering is what? When you are not, when you don't have a lot of good feelings uh, for that person inside, but you are trying to show outside. That is a kind of buttering, okay? For only your benefits. But if the person is like, you know, good for him inside and outside, I don't call that thing as a buttering or sick of oh, Right. I don't know what's your definition for that. I agree. Uh, so if they are around people of authority only for their benefit and not because they have any genuine emotions for that person, then you can call mm -hmm. them a sycophant. But if there is a person who's always around you, who's helping you, who's supporting you, who says yes to anything that you say because they like you, that person is your mm -hmm. friend, right? <laughs> if they yeah. do so much for you with genuine int intentions, then they are a friend. Yeah. Okay. Next one. Um, all right. This is quite a relevant word. You will definitely encounter it in newspapers, magazines, articles. Mm -hmm. It's a very relevant word. Okay. So mm -hmm. it's E-P-I-T-O-M-E. -E. Yeah. Epitome. Beautiful. Perfect. Let's go to 
the next one. C R U C I. Crucial. Pronounce it again. Crucial. Crucial. Think about it. I'll give crucial. you eight seconds. It's like crucial. Is it right? Yes. Yes. Absolutely. The biggest mistake that the most common mistake. I wouldn't call it a big mistake. The common mistake is people pronounce it like crucial. They. See, yeah, she, we take it I in the consideration a lot, right? Here we will not take the I into consideration so much. It's pronounced like S H L, crucial, crucial. Crucial. Mm -hmm. Yes, perfect. You got it right. Uh, let me split it for you. C R O O, cru, S H L, shil, crucial. Yeah, crucial. Mm -hmm. Yes. And the last word. Tell me if you know it. Otherwise, we will split it. Yes. This one is a little complicated. Yeah, I can't pronounce it either. Now, what do we do? Do we try to pronounce the whole thing together, or do we break it? Do we break? Yeah, of course we can break it for sure. Yes. So, what is S I L? Sil. H O U. How? Okay. E T T E. Et. Very good. So you got the first and the last part absolutely right. S I L is sil, E T T E is et. In between, it's silhouette. Silhouette. The O here is silent. Silhouette. Oh. Yes. Yes. It's C L O O L U E T E T. Silhouette. Silhouette. Okay. Where you is the H? Silhouette? Like. You don't silent? pronounce. Yes. You don't say silhouette. Mm -hmm. We'll just say yeah, uh, okay. silhouette. <laughs> yes, and this, to be very honest, was one word that I used to struggle with a lot back in those <laughs> days when I was trying to learn English. So it's cemented in my memory. I can never forget it. <laughs> okay. Do you want to know what exactly is a silhouette? Do you have any idea? No, I don't. I want to know it for sure. Okay, so instead of explaining it to you, let me give you some examples uh, with which you can learn it properly. Okay, so give me 10 mm -hmm. seconds to share my screen so that you can see what exactly a silhouette is. Mm. Okay, so I have, here I have opened an article on silhouettes. All right. So, yeah, mm -hmm. can you see my screen? Yes, I can see a picture. You see with a picture? A, I think Taj Mahal see, in the mist. Yes. Do you see the actual Taj Mahal or do you see a shadow like structure of it? Shadow. Yes. Shape. Do you see a dog here and some birds? Yes. Yeah. Do you see them as it is or do you see like a shadow or the blackened version? Blackened version actually. Only the I can guess is. them. They are dog and birds. Birds. Yes, this is an example of a silhouette. This outline, the shadowy outline of any person, animal, object is a silhouette. Got it? See, okay. this is a beautiful picture. Hmm. Uh, what do you see here? Yeah, difficult to guess. Of course, a sky and natural beauty with two creatures, but I don't know who they are. Yeah. You can't see. You can just see a shadowy outline, right? And you also can't see the mm -hmm. landscape. It looks like a mountain, but it could be a grassland. You never know, right? So it's like yes. a shadowy yeah. outline. So these kind of shadowy outlines are called as silhouette. Got it? Silhouette. Yes. Yes. So that's about it. That's how we learn pronunciation. That's how we challenge ourselves. And that's how we break down words. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Of course, the words are really difficult. Like, you know, no idea that how to pronounce them, where, like, you know, which that letter is silent, which we have to pronounce. So yes. these are the nuances of the language English. So very difficult Absolutely. to understand where where to pronounce, where to, like, you know, not to pronounce all those Whenever things. Whenever you see a word, a new word in English, and of course, in, initially, we cannot guess, right, which words are silent, which words need to be pronounced. So that is when we take the help of syllables. Syllables are what will tell mm -hmm. you 
this is what you have to pronounce this is what you can forget so that's your key to learning good pronunciation yeah but as a like hindi medium student what we used to do we used to like pronounce the all those letters in a way that in the examination we are going to write like you know in a correct oh. way so yes. like crucial means cru c r u c i a l so it will be easy for us to write the correct meanings in the exams so that's how i still remember when i was in like third or fourth standard we used to pronounce all those letters so it would be easy for us to write in exams okay i understand but now it is it's totally different yes yeah no, because as, as i am going for the spoken english so i have yes. to go for the phonetics and the sounds of the words not for the like all the letters pronounced correct correct absolutely so it's okay to employ your own hacks when you're writing you know when speaking we have to say the real deal and you are quite a good speaker so this is where you can uh, upskill and make yourself perfect yeah yeah exactly that's why i i want to take such kind of sessions so it can be at least it could be there in my subconscious mind and i can become better i take sessions of course i know that i can talk a little on topics so it's better to go for the like technical things a little more so i can become better with it absolutely so after today's session uh, if you had to explain to someone how to master english pronunciation of course we cannot just mm -hmm. see a word and be like oh this is the exact thing so what are the steps that you would recommend to them after today's class so let's start with step number 1 step number 1 first thing is that whatever you see that you are not going to pronounce so first you have to know like <laughs> so that that you don't have to pronounce all those letters in a letters in the same way like you see so the syllables are really important you have to know i learned few words like i used to say comfortable okay mm -hmm. comfortable mm -hmm. but it's comfortable okay there Com are not four syllables comfortable yeah yes yeah three syllables are there so syllables are really important to understand the phonetics and the sound of that word otherwise it is going to be difficult for you to pronounce okay so that's what i will tell them and we have of course a lot of tools go on google and i i do it sometimes and listen that uh, once twice and thrice and try to pronounce in that way and they give the syllables uh, like you know and we can get in every single accent indian one british one and american one whatever you want so absolutely so sometimes i follow it and always i recommend my students but practic like you know practicing that telling someone is easy but doing that is not easy of course it's difficult and tedious of course we don't like it going for a word again and again right mm -hmm. so that's what i'm going to tell them that syllables are really important break down the words into like you know the three or whatever the syllables how many syllables are uh, just you know are there to check it and then pronounce the words and try to do it and listen the sound by listening you get the right sound of the language because after looking at the word if i get a book maybe i wouldn't be able to pronounce but as i am hearing you you are also pronouncing that i am copying it right so right. this sense of hearing is really important for getting the right sound of the language absolutely ashutosh and to be very honest it's this there's a secret sauce to learning a language which is not just english any language that you pick up the revision the revision is the secret sauce to mastering any language uh, when we read something for the first time we feel like okay i've read it once i will remember it no matter what i am going to remember it but that won't be mm -hmm. the case after one week slowly that memory is going to fade away so until that word becomes a part of your subconscious mind or even your alert mind you have to continuously revise it learning a language is a process that requires a lot of hard work so we have to be putting you no know, we have to put the hard work and then things will be fine yeah exactly right yeah can't so, agree more yeah so the secret sauce to mastering a language is revise revise and revise more <laughs> yeah sure okay all right then so i hope you had a good session i enjoyed this quite a lot and now if you have any other questions or doubts or uh, please let me know no already i told you in the beginning of the session i wanted to have this session in this way and it was great i liked it a lot uh, because we avoid uh, like you know what happens like you know when we speak normal words but sometimes we get the words and we escape them so it's better to pronounce them and do practice as like you know with the help of the trainers so it's always good and i liked it a lot 
and of course i must say to you all the best and uh, like you know happy weekend all the best for your next session today and <laughs> this you know it, it, like next day saturday and sunday i feel you should enjoy it and must enjoy it absolutely i will and i hope the same for you too enjoy have a great weekend and i'll see you next week okay take care yeah sure thank you